Hello and welcome to the Open Solar video on pricing and how you can use it to automate your designing process. This video will cover a range of pricing settings, including each of the automated settings, as well as how you can use it in the studio zone, which is where we are now. In the bottom toolbar, there are four zones. We are currently in the second zone, which is the studio zone for designing. Inside here, we can come to the left hand sidebar and underneath pricing and payment options, we can open up the price tab here. As we come down, you'll see there's a number of different pricing schemes to choose from, which I have built out. However, you can choose to enter the price manually on a job by job basis if you don't want to enter in a pricing formula. This is the system price, which is inclusive of tax and before the STCs have been taken away. And you can see the price payable up there. You can also enter in any discounts as well. There are a number of different pricing schemes, as I mentioned, and so we'll go through them now. This is a price per watt, a fixed pricing, a markup pricing, as well as a price per watt by size as well. Choosing this price per watt scheme will take into account the size of the system. The fixed pricing scheme will simply choose a pre-entered total system price of 17000 in this case. The markup pricing scheme is quite comprehensive and will take into account the costings of the equipment and your business costs. And we'll be able to see a pricing breakdown here. So all of the costs of your system, including the modules, inverters, batteries if there are any, and any other components, as well as, well as all of the business costs, will be summed up here to create a total cost. And then that will be marked up by the indicated amount. Here it's 20%. That will generate the total system price and we'll be able to see the margin here as well. You can also enter in any price adders as well. You can do this on a fixed basis, on a per panel basis, a per watt basis as well. So if we want to make any last minute adjustments based on this, we can do so here. And we can see the price jump up or even jump down if we choose to enter in a negative number. I'll now show you how to set these up in the control zone, which is in the bottom toolbar on the right hand side. If I now click through to the control zone, we'll be taken here. And if I come to the left hand side and underneath the sales and marketing heading, we can choose the pricing schemes option. This will be a list of your pricing schemes. You can edit any of these, and to create a new one, come up to the top right hand corner and click plus create. We can enter in a title, and then we can also choose the pricing formula here. Price per watt markup, price per watt by size, and fixed price. The fixed price, as I mentioned earlier, is simply one price that you enter in. You can also enter in the tax included and choose whether you would like to automatically enable this to apply when you're designing. The price per watt is simply entering in a price per watt and a battery price per kilowatt hour. The price per watt by size similarly is a price per watt for a range of different system sizes. And then the markup percentage is simply a percentage that's entered as well as the tax and then that goes off all of the costs that were entered as well. And you can click save once you've done this. So the markup percentage will be based on all of the costs, which I'll show you how to enter in a minute, which is based on the module, inverter, battery, other components, and your business costs. And then the price per watt and price per watt by size can also be adjusted so for example you can set up a price per watt for your base system size and then have a price adder 
for modules, inverters, batteries or other components, which will then be applied on top of the price per watt. To enter these in, go to System Design and then go to Modules. From here, we can click on Edit next to any of your modules. Once we click on the Edit button, we'll be taken to the page for the module where we can enter in the cost of goods and services per unit. This is the cost to your business and this is what you would enter in if you're using the markup pricing scheme. You can also see beneath here there is the price adjustment field. The price adjustment field will be what you enter if you decide to use a price per watt pricing scheme. If you're not using a price per watt pricing scheme and don't wish to have any price adjustment then you should leave this blank as it will impact your final price. Once you've done this, ensure you press the save button and you can do the same process for inverters, batteries and other components. To enter in the remainder of your business costs or to set pricing based on roof type or other details, click on presets. Then click edit. From here, we'll be looking at two different sections. The cost of goods and services or COD. COG section or the extra costs section. If we open up the COG section, we can see here there are a number of different items which can be costed on a per system, per panel or per watt basis. And all of these costs will be added together in order to generate the final costing for the system. So you can see here there are a number of different light items for you to enter in and the per system, per panel and per watt costings will be added together. The extra costs section is where you can add in additional costs based on job difficulty. So it could be the stories, could be the pitch of the roof and it could also be for tilt racks as well. And you can even set the extra cost based on the roof type. Once you finish all this, ensure that you hit the save button. Thank you very much for watching and I hope that you've learned something on how to automate your pricing schemes so that as soon as you design the system or update the system, the pricing will be updated for you. However, you will always have the option just to enter in the price manually on a per job basis. If you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to us at support at opensolar.com. Thanks.